Hi, this is Maria. I'm going to show you how I did this weekly spread using GoodNotes 5 and Procreate. Now, I used Procreate a lot when I was using GoodNotes 4 because sizing stickers was an issue, and I don't have that issue today in GoodNotes 5, but many people are having some growing pains with their GoodNotes 5 stickers just not working very well. So if you're, do if you're having issues, try Procreate. Um, like I said, I'm not really having an issue in because of the way I use my stickers. Um, I use the drag and drop method from my camera roll, no problem whatsoever. But um, I'm used to working in Procreate, so we're going to do that with this. So the first thing I'm going to do is clear my page so we can start over. I am in week 4 of January in my 2019 Natural DigiBujo. I will link everything I'm using over here on the bottom um, of the screen you will see a little down arrow for YouTube all of the information that I use will be linked there as well as some other information about the video alright so first thing I'm going to take a snapshot of this so that I can have a, a template to work inside of in Procreate Now you could just take a screenshot but I find this more useful I'm going to click the up arrow in GoodNotes, export this page, image, export, and I'm going to save it to my camera roll. Okay, that just simply puts it in the camera roll. I'm going to go to Procreate, I'm going to click the plus and screen size, okay, and then I'm going to click my wrench tool, add, insert photo, from my photo roll it's going to be the last one, and there's my journal without all the stuff that goes across from GoodNotes. I don't have to crop, I don't have to do anything, it fits perfectly. Okay, now, now I'm going to bring in stickers into Procreate. I'm going to add a layer and make this smaller. I like to work side by side with my stickers whether it's Procreate or whether it's GoodNotes, I like to do this so I can just bring my stickers over. You can use the wrench tool like we did before, insert photo. I just find this easier. So I'm going to go to my photo albums, my planner folder, and I'm going to find a weekly spread that I like. Um, I believe this one is in Jenny's shop. It's Monday Start. But she gave us the Sunday start in a freebie in her newsletter, and that's the one I'm going to use. So I'm just going to drag it over, and I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to bring in all my stickers, and then we'll work. Add another layer, and now I just find the stickers that I'm going to be using today. I want this one. I'm going to put each sticker in its own layer. This one. Add a layer. And this one. Okay, I'm going to close out my pictures. Now that I'm in Procreate, I'm going to turn off my sticker sheets. I'm going to select the layer that the weekly spread is on. Arrow tool, and now I can size this as I need to. Now you can do this kind of sizing in GoodNotes 5. You could not do this with GoodNotes 4. This is why I started working in Procreate. Now GoodNotes 5 is easier to maneuver, but I'm just so used to working in Procreate, I will probably continue to work in, in Procreate instead of um, good notes. Alright, so let's start with the bottom washi. I'm going to select the layer that the sticker's on. Selector tool, rectangle mode, and I'm simply going to draw a rectangle around that sticker that I want. Duplicate. That puts it in its own layer. I'm going to turn off the sticker layer, go back to my new cutout, arrow tool, and I'm going to place it where I want it. Sizing in Procreate is very easy and it's 
and it's quick. Okay. If you're not sure, just make it bigger. And make sure you're covering what you want to cover. Okay, one sticker is done. Now let's open this one. Selector tool, whoops, if you can't see your whole sheet, just move it. Selector tool, rectangle. This one has a bit of a hidden Mickey in it right there. And I'm a Disney nerd, so duplicate. I try to incorporate Mickeys everywhere I see them. Turn off my sticker sheet. Back to my cutout. Arrow tool. And I want to be in uniform so that my sticker doesn't skew when I move it. I can't see the whole layout. So we're just resize here. Now with Procreate, if you're in free form, you can skew. I'm going to reset. But if you use uniform, you will size and keep the proportion, which is what I'm trying to do here. Okay, put it where you want it. Most of my layouts are this way. And then I select the end from the layer and bring down the opacity so I can write over it. Okay. Alright, now. Next sticker. And it's the same sticker. So let's use the selector tool. And duplicate. Now that's in its own layer. Turn off the sticker sheet. Arrow tool. Place it where I want it. Tap, tap, tap. Place it where I want it. Back to my layers. Slide and duplicate. Now I have two of those. Tap moves it just ever so slightly. Slide and duplicate. Okay. I'm going to do that one more time. Slide and duplicate. Move so I can see Saturday. Now that last one was Saturday. The rest of these I'm going to merge together. So I'm going to click the top one and the bottom one and just merge them so they are one layer. Slide and duplicate. And now I don't have to cut and paste those one by one. Okay, now I can merge all of these so that they turn on and off together. Okay. I'm going to do this same sticker, turn that one on one more time, I'm going to select this flower. It's hiding under the jean material, but I'm just going to go, I'm going to make that square really big to make sure I catch the whole flower. Duplicate, turn off my sticker, go back to my cutout layer, arrow tool, and rotate. Okay. Again, I'm in uniform so I don't skew my flower. I'm going to size it. This is going to be top washi. Okay. Place it where I want it. Slide and duplicate. Arrow tool. Slide and duplicate. Arrow tool. Now I'm going to make sure they're lined up the same top to bottom. I want the flowers touching the top. If they don't, just go in and fix it. Now I can merge those three together so that I can move them together. Okay. Slide and duplicate, arrow tool, 
And now I have the same thing for the other side. Okay. And now I can merge those together. Click the N and lower the opacity just so I don't cover the days of the week too much. Okay, makes it a, gives it a softer look. Okay, and I'm going to go to those numbers, sticker with the numbers. I'm going to click select and I'm going to freehand the days that I want. Cut them out in freehand rather than box mode. Duplicate. They're in their own section now, so I'm going to turn off the sticker. And now, working all in the same layer, I'm going to click Select Rectangle. And I'm going to move them in while they're still in the same layer. Okay, so I can resize. Put it where I want it. Drop it. Select. And just move the 21. Okay. I'm going to select all, whoops, I missed a part. I'm going to select all of these and size them. I'm just going to lay this on top to match the size. And I'm just going to drop all of these in their spot. 22, select out the rest move them. Now I, I don't want to fall off the sheet here so I'm going to move 26. Oh, I didn't catch all of it. There's all of 26. 24 and 5. And then the last one. Now take a look if those flowers are still too bright just go to your flower layer and make them a little less bright and there is my layout I'm going to go to my layers turn off my journal layer that I brought in I'm going to turn off the background layer wrench tool share PNG and save to the camera roll Go back into your good notes, pen tool, image. It's going to be the last one if this is your camera roll, and it's going to be the last one in moments from the camera roll there. Tap and crop, take out some of the gray stuff, just like we did in good notes four. Done. And now I can size this. I've gone off the sheet. So I'm going to just use my handles to position this, drop it into place, resize this. I'm still a little high, so I'm going to long press, edit, and move it where I want it, just make it a little taller. that I go edge to edge the way I want. Okay, and then drop it into place. And my entire layout is one sticker. So now I simply, in good notes, deselect images so that I don't move the image when I move my handwriting or my text. Okay. When I use handwriting, I'll pick a pretty green. This is just a green from the palette. It's not a fancy one. I can handwrite. If you don't like your handwriting, click text. Again, I pick the same green from the palette. Paintbrush. Pick the size that you want. I'm just going to guess here. Pick the font that you want. I'm using rock salt. 
and then just tap on the screen and type away. Okay, now from here you can use your finger and move this, but you see the text, the keyboard's in the way. You can simply move the journal this way to move your text. But I have found that the lasso is easier. Just make sure that images is turned off. Okay? And also from lasso, you can resize, you can recolor, okay? You can do a lot with the lasso. So I actually prefer to use the lasso for moving text. All right, that is my weekly layout. Thanks for watching.